It's been a few weeks since we talked to our livestock marketing specialist, Dr. Daryl Peel. So Daryl, the USDA released their annual or semi-annual uh, cattle report. Was the liquidation uh, th that you projected, did that actually occur? It did. This report confirmed what we've been expecting. Uh, you know, for the whole U.S., the all cattle and calves inventory uh, was down 3%. Um, you know, we, since the peak in 2019, the most recent peak in, in 2019, we've dropped the uh, all cattle inventory by 5.5, a little bit over 5.5 million head. That's a 5.8% decrease since that peak. So uh, yeah, we've, we've liquidated quite a bit. You know, most importantly, the beef herd. So what did the numbers, uh, you know, tell you about uh, beef, the beef production? The beef cow herd uh, dropped another 3.6% last year. Uh, and that's a pretty big drop for a single year. Uh, in fact, it's the lowest now. We're actually a little bit lower than the low in 2014. Uh, and this makes this the lowest beef cow herd in the U.S. since 1962. So since the peak in 2019, again, the cyclical peak in 2019, we've dropped about 2.77 million head of beef cows. That's an 8.7% decrease uh, since 2019. So for beef replacement heifers, usually that has kind of a big impact of what we're going to see on the future. So what, what did those numbers tell you? Yeah, you know, with a low cow herd, and then we look at the beef replacement heifers going forward, beef replacements were down 5.8% uh, this year. Uh, and the number of those that are expected to calve this year, USDA breaks it into, into expected to calve and, and uh, heifers in development. The heifers expected to calve was down 5.1%. Uh, so beef replacement heifers actually peaked in 2017 as we were building up numbers the last expansion and uh, we're down 1.2 million head or 18.9 percent from that peak uh, in, in those beef replacement numbers. So shifting to feedlot and the feeder situation, what's going on there? Well, you know, again, uh, the calf crop peaked in 2018, so feeder supplies have been tightening up. Uh, the uh, the uh, expected feeder supply for this year was down 2.5% year over year. Uh, the uh, total U.S. cattle on feed inventory was down 3.7%. So, you know, again, we see these numbers continue to tighten up. So, so how did Oklahoma's numbers compare to last year? You know, in Oklahoma, our all cattle inventory dropped 11.5% year over year. So big drop there. Our cows, beef cows were down 6.6%. Beef replacement heifers were down 2.5%. Uh, the uh, feeder supply for the state of Oklahoma, estimated feeder supply was down 18 and a half percent. Our cattle on feed numbers are down 11.1% and the 2022 calf crop was down 4.1% from the previous year. So big drop. In fact, we had the biggest drop in all cattle inventory of any state in the country in this report. So a lot of this you were you know, predicting a couple months back or even to a couple weeks back. But was there anything in here that, that really caught you by surprise? Not in general, not really. I mean, it, it confirms what we've, you know, what we've been talking about. Um, we're in a very tight situation. I think the real question going forward is we're still in a drought. Uh, we've got a tough winter. We have very low hay stocks. So we have producers that may be facing some additional liquidation here during the winter if they don't have enough hay to get through the winter. And certainly if the drought doesn't change going into the spring and the growing season, uh, we're going to see additional liquidation. So we could be in an uh, extremely tight situation uh, going forward uh, if we take this down even farther than it has already. All right, well, we'll check back in with you in a couple weeks. Dr. Daryl Peel, Livestock Marketing Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.